Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality. And in today's video, we're going to take you over how to do file downloads in playwright.net. So before we actually write the code, which would be nice and straightforward, let's show you what we actually want to do. So go into commitquality.com forward slash practice hyphen file hyphen download. We want to essentially execute this download file and then save it to our local repository of where we're running our tests. You can also get to this page by going to committoquality.com, clicking on practice and going down to file download. Now we've talked about the action we want to perform, so let's show you how we do and it should be a nice quick win for anyone who's looking to understand how to download files in Playwright C Sharp. So first thing we want to do is I have my test already set up. I don't have any test anything in the test body yet. So I'm going to say await page .go to because we want to go to the page. So in our case, Let's take this URL. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to set up a task that's going to wait for the download to actually need to be happening. And then we want to action the click and then we want to save it somewhere. So first of all, we're going to save our wait for download task. And we'll set that to page dot uh, wait for download async. Can I hover over this as well to understand what it's doing? But essentially, all it's saying is it wants to perform an action and then wait and wait for that download to be actioned. We've got the task we're ready to wait for, but how do we actually do this then? Well, let's do our click on the locator. So let's say page dot. I believe we'll use get by text and it should be download file. Yep. So we're taking the text of this button. So this locator will be download file. And of course, we want to perform that click async on it. So nothing new here. We just define our locator and then say we want to click that button. Now then we want to say create a variable called anything you want, but I'm going to say download and we'll say await, wait for download task, which is this task up here. So what we should say is we've clicked the we've clicked the button and now we're waiting for that download task. And the last thing we want to do is essentially wait for download process to finish and save the file somewhere. So to do this is nice and easy. We can say await download, which is this variable we just defined here. And we're going to say save as async. And here, all you're doing is you're passing the path through of where you want it to be saved. So by default, if we would say just save it where we execute from, that would actually be in our bin folder. So if I was to right click this and open folder in file explorer it's not going to be saved here it'll be saved from where we're actually executing which would be inside here so what i want to say is i don't really want my download file to live in here i want it to live in whatever i'm executing the repository from so that's going to be here and then back one two three so back three so to do this nice and easy we can just say back one back two back three and that means now that this file would be saved into this location. But just another nice little tip as well. What you can say is download dot suggested file name. So what this is going to do is going to save the file in this location. So it should appear here. And it's also going to give the file name of whatever player I think it is or it's going to suggest it to. I think this is really useful to use because unless you know you want to hard code it something, it's going to work it out for you of what it thinks the best would be. So with that being said, let's rebuild this test or rebuild this project. And let's execute our test. So let's right click run. Here you go, we can see it's done it, it's clicked the file download, and we know that because look, dummy file text here to show that we have actually downloaded it where it didn't exist. We'll rename it to subscribe. What we're going to see now is the downloaded file is going to happen again, but it's going to be titled with the text of subscribe. Yeah, we've got subscribe here, which of course I didn't have the extension on, but you can see it's still the same file with the still text content. But instead of using the suggested name, I've created my own. And that's it for file downloading. Nice and easy.
but definitely worthwhile because you can perform this into your task so you might need to download something and analyze the data from it but as always if you do have any questions or comments please drop them down below a like and subscribe is appreciated thank you for watching have a good day